no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net as millions around the world try to survive with a lack of resources, we need to remember that it's almost never because the resources aren't there. They are. There's more empty houses in this country than homeless people. I mean, Jesus Christ, there's probably enough boarded up borders, bookstores, or Barnes and Nobles to give every homeless veteran their own personal franchise location. And there's enough water to create bright green golf courses in the middle of fucking deserts, and restaurants throw enough unsold desserts in the garbage to turn every hungry person into a morbidly obese, gently undulating mountain of syrupy flesh. So why is anybody starving, cold, thirsty, or homeless? Seems like fixing this dilemma should be easier than getting laid at an orgy. And the resources are there. It's the money that isn't there. Philosopher Alan Watts described it well when he wrote that saying there isn't enough money is basically like a builder saying there's not enough inches. There's enough wood, nails, hammers, we got all that, but we've used up all the inches. It's our archaic confusion between money and true wealth that stops us from providing food, clothing, and housing for everyone. Money is but a symbol, and we've allowed this symbol to infect our skulls. I think we should start fucking with this symbol. Avoid it whenever you get the chance. If you're a dentist, give out free checkups in exchange for groceries instead of using money. If you're a sexy woman, give out naked photos of yourself in exchange for a bottle of wine. Not everyone will want them, but some people will. There's plenty of traits and talents you can barter with. Advice, massages, homemade jewelry, hugs, secrets, exotic snakes or erotic cakes, whatever the fuck. And for the most part, the problem is not finding things to give, it's finding people to take the exchange. So I want to encourage stories store owners and shopkeepers to do it. If some strange person walks into your shop and offers you a scented candle for a candy bar or a photo of their pussy for a pastry, take it. What do you have to lose? Chances are you'll use the candle, and if nothing else, you'll get a funny story. Plus, no one gets a cut of this. No one else gets a cut of this. No taxes or Federal Reserve involvement. No millionaires grabbing at it. And even if they try, what's 10% of a hot stone massage? I'm not saying this is going to change the world. It won't. But what it will do is change our perception of money. All of a sudden, the stupid green pieces of paper would go back to being a symbol rather than being a way of life, rather than being something you destroy your family and friends over. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. What do you think? Has money become far more than a symbol? What's the answer? Leave a comment in the comment section. And the person with the best response will win a free digital download of my live comedy album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.